Today, I'd like to share an extraordinary story. A recent case report described an 80-year-old patient diagnosed with non-small cell lung cancer. According to standard treatment protocols, she was a good candidate for surgery, chemo, and radiation. But for personal reasons, she refused them all. Instead, she adopted a more natural approach at the suggestion of a family member. When she was first diagnosed, her tumor was 44 millimeters with no metastasis. But after two and a half years, scans showed that her tumor had shrunk to 10 millimeters, a quarter of its original size, without suffering through harsh mainstream treatments. How? Well, after she started using CBD in combination with THC, her tumor shrunk from 41 millimeters to 33 millimeters. That scan also revealed two smaller nodules, so she was referred to a surgeon. When the patient declined surgery, she went to see her oncologist for another CT and PET scan. This time, scans revealed yet another 11 millimeter reduction in the size of her tumor, and the nodules had disappeared. This trend continued. In fact, by the time of the case report, her tumor was down to 10 millimeters. That's a 76 percent reduction in size, all without any changes to her ordinary medications, diet, or lifestyle. That's an extraordinary improvement. Of course, we'll never know exactly what caused it, but I would like to think that the CBD oil, which she took orally two to three times daily, had something to do with it. She actually took the same combination I typically prescribe for my medical marijuana patients, which is a one-to-one -one ratio of THC to CBD. Now, one case report is hardly sufficient proof of cause and effect here, but given the vast nature of the body's endocannabinoid system, which regulates a staggering range of biological processes from mood, memory, sleep, and appetite to pain perception and inflammation response, CBD in particular remains one of my go-to recommendations for a number of issues. Take it or don't take it. The choice is always is up to you.